dog person, you'll know if you're a dog person that you become rather obsessed with what your dog is. You know, if it's a bit stuff, if it's a bit beagle and a bit something else, then you'll be looking for other bits of beagle and, and what characteristics those beagles have, etc. Well, tonight we're going to be talking with a miniature schnauzer enthusiast because a new walking group has just started up here in Hobart for people with miniature schnauzers. They're cute little, mostly, they're mostly grey, but they're not always grey, little dogs. And Hayley Webb is on the line now to tell us all about them and her puppy, Poppy. Hello, Hayley. Hi, thanks so much for having me. Oh, it's such a pleasure. It's such a pleasure. I love, I, any, any excuse to talk about dogs here, Hayley. And <laughs> tell me about Poppy, your miniature schnauzer. Well, she's actually a black miniature schnauzer. She's a black... Now, I mean, are they rare-ish? I mean, I feel like I always just see silver ones around. Yeah, so normally the more um, popular colour is the salt and pepper, which is the grey colour. Mm -hmm. um, but black, blacks are quite common. There's also um, black and silver, so they have the black body, but they have the white legs and the white moustache and the eyebrows. Right. And it's also some white ones about. I haven't seen any, but I'd love to meet one one day. Yeah, I've heard that the um, you've got to be really careful with the white ones. They're, they're, with their breeding, you know, that they're all a bit inbred or something. I don't know if that's right. I hope I don't get sued by schnauzer, um, <laughs> by schnauzer uh, um, breeders. But that's just something. I, I love schnauzers as well. So that's something I've heard on the, on the you know, on the street, I guess. Tell yeah. me something I've heard too but I can't actually confirm that so <laughs> how did you get into schnauzers well I got into schnauzers um by I actually met a little schnauzer first and loved the temperament and the personality and thought that you know that a a dog like a schnauzer would fit in really well at home and you know we had a fairly smaller backyard so you know it's a bit horrible to have you know, such yeah. a small yard yeah. and a large dog. Yeah. yeah, but, you know, I've always grown up with Airedale. They're so, big um, dogs, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah, but, you know, I've always sort of been on, um, you know, five-acre, one-acre mm. property. So, you know, that's, that's fine. But, you know, got married and moved into a house and they've had a bit of a smaller yard. And, yeah, just love the temperament and how they're so, you know, eager to please and eager to train. So... Yeah, well, tell me well, and I guess also, sorry, we've um, had, so we've got a few friends that, you know, are allergic to dogs and that sort of thing, so, you know, the mini schnauzers in particular, they're allergy friendly, they don't shed. Mm, that's very appealing. Huge bonus. Yeah, <laughs> particularly if you're in a smaller space, that's really, really appealing. I and you don't have to vacuum very much. <laughs> Yay <laughs> for that. That is yeah. fantastic. I've heard that they're really smart dogs. Is that the case? Or does everybody just think that their dog is a really smart dog? No, these dogs are very, very smart. They love, um, as I said, like, have eager to please and easy to train, but also Kishi is squeaking with a toy at the moment. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, no. Um, we can't hear it. We'd love to hear it, though, if we could hear it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they also do very, very well in agility competitions and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So yeah, no, very, very smart. If, if you have a look at our Facebook page, there's some very, very cute um, videos on there that people have posted, especially one with a, one of the slow bowls, you know, to slow down the dog eating. And Aww. one of one of the dogs on in the video, he goes like the other way down the food, so. <laughs> <laughs> what is your Facebook page called? So we've actually changed that we were originally the Theatre Studies of Hobart, mm -hmm. but um, we've been so overwhelmed and excited that all these members from all over Tasmania have been you know, joining our group, so we've expanded it to the Theatre Studies of Tasmania. Oh, that's lovely. Bearded yeah. Buddies of Tasmania. So, so what's the downside of a schnauzer? Are there any, like, have they got things, what are the things that could go wrong with them or, or do go wrong with them? I personally haven't actually, you know, found anything to be wrong with the breed at all. I, yeah, just sort of love them. I guess in some ways due to them being, um, not shedding that they do have that, you know, 
with the soft undercoat, so they can get a little bit tangled. Right. Um, so, you know, just always making sure that, you know, you're keeping your dogs nice and groomed and just always brushing them and, you know, to avoid those sorts of complications with just getting them quite matted. What's the background of them? Is, are they a German breed? They are. They are a German breed. So, schnauzer, I I think it was something like around like schnauz sort of thing. So colloquial nowadays, it's known as the mustache. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's sort of what what the breed's known for. Um, yeah, but originally, you know, like most dogs, they were bred originally for a purpose. And what was that um, purpose? So for schnauzers, it was mainly as ratters and like yard guard dogs. Ah, so so they get rid of rats. They do. Oh, that must they're be wonderful. Always, they're always very, very attentive. Like, I know that my little one here, she loves to get up on the bed because she's got a nice view of everything and, you know, checks out what's happening in the street. So, you know, they always want to know what's going on. <laughs> That's great. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the group? Do you get together for walks? Well, we only just started the group probably about two weeks ago. And we've all of a sudden blown out to almost hit the 70 member mark already in just two weeks time which is fantastic never give that so much i think I, I think i just became your 70th member while we've been talking oh, which really? is okay That's i don't have a cool. snail but i just i like looking at pictures of them <laughs> no, no, that's perfect fantastic um yeah so um yeah so they um i just was in Salamanca there one day with a group of friends from school and um, the other um, couple that have sort of started this Facebook group with me, Tom and Caitlin, um, they ended up coming to the same place for breakfast as where I was and they had their two their two schnauzers in tow. Um, and you, know, you, you can't not go up to them, they're adorable. So, of course, I went up and, you know, they came up to me and they were patting away. It's like, hi, how are you going? So, had a bit of a quick conversation with them and just sort of ended up saying, because I've wanted to sort of, you know, start like a socialising walking group for quite a while. And mm -hmm. not just the miniature schnauzers, but all the three breeds of schnauzers. So, there's the miniature, the standard, and the giant. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, just sort of mentioned it to them. And they got really, really excited and on board. So, we made a group together. and. And yeah, it's going fantastically. We're so excited that um, we got our very, very first meet on mm -hmm. the 15th, so on Sunday the 15th, this month, at 11 o'clock. Um, and that's at John Turnbull Park in Lena Valley. Um, but also the Northerners have um, decided to try and synchronise with us, and so they're also having a meeting on the November in Launceston at Hobbs Ridge Dog Park. Oh, nice. So we've got a synchronised meet for both North and South on the 15th. That sounds great. And uh, if you're listening and you're thinking about getting a little schnauzer or a dog, go and just watch at the park. That's one of the nicest things that you think about having dogs. And, and no one really tells you this before you get one that people talk to you all the time when you've got a dog in a way that they don't. If you, you're out walking by yourself every morning for your exercise, no one will talk to you. You might get a little like nod or a hello, but people strike up conversations with you wherever you go when you've got a dog. Do you find this as well, Hayley? Yeah, I do, because they're so inviting. There's such gorgeous spaces and, you know, they're always, they have a lot of hat of course, they do. So <laughs> they're always well, look, it, it's been lovely chatting with you, Hayley, and thanks for letting us know about schnauzers and, and the bearded buddies of Tasmania. You have a great night, and I hope that meet goes really well. Excellent. Thank you so much. And, yeah, anyone is welcome to join our Facebook page, of course. So, you know, the more the merrier. And, yeah, if anyone's free with a schnauzer on, on that weekend, on the 16th, we'd love to have you at either of the two events. It would be fantastic to get as many there as possible. Well, there's a lot around. Facebook page. You can go and check them out there. 
it is uh, a couple of minutes away 